Hey guys, I'm Julie Samaka with Southern Charm Wreaths, and here's a sneak peek of this month's featured wreath in our Wreath Making of the Month Club. So let's talk about the supplies we're going to need for this wreath. We've got a 20 inch wreath frame. Now this is an evergreen wreath. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many tips there are on it, but when you open it up, it measures out 20 inches exactly. So we've got this wreath, evergreen wreath, and we're going to use a set of elf legs. And I've got this really cute um, Santa hat that we're gonna use. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna cut the mesh and the ribbon first. Now, I'm gonna take this cellophane off but I want to keep the cellophane and I'll show you what we're going to do with it in a little bit. Okay, so we are going to measure out 24 inches. This one has a line and you can kind of see what, where the middle of this mesh is, but you just want to start pinching it in the middle and you're just going to start, just do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see it's in my hand and it's, I'm not holding it very tight at all. Um, now what I'm going to do is just measure out about a six inch tail and then eight inch loops. So we're going to have one loop go to the back and then measure out again eight inches and have that come to the front. Um, but this is what we're going for. So if you don't have a Bodabra, this is exactly how you would do it. I always used wired ribbon. I get that question all the time and definitely I use wired ribbon. Wired ribbon is so forgiving. So we're going to go ahead and add the legs to your elf wreath. Um, save your cellophane that your, egg, your legs come in. We're going to use that in a little bit. I love these legs because they're bendable. So we'll, we'll probably get them added to the wreath and then we can position the legs that how we want them. We need to give this a hat a little bit of um, a volume. So this is, remember I was telling you not to throw away your cellophane. That's what I'm going to use to shove inside of our hat. So go through your trash cans. So I want to show you how you can give a little, these are bendable and I want to show you how you can give a little bit of character to the uh, legs. So you could just Bend the legs just like that. There's one and there's the other. So you can just bend them. If you want to cross them, you can cross them. You can have them bending in other directions, but I thought that that was cute. So bending it in the opposite direction of how we turned the hat is just a cute little look. 